Good morning, everyone, and happy Friday. It is Julie here with your TipRank's pre-market morning update, where we're bringing you everything you need to know before the market opens. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back. Thank you all so much for being here and TGI Friday. Of course, this morning we'll be taking a look at exciting stock market news, a bunch of notable earnings reports, and which stocks are the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Don't forget to download the TipRanks mobile app if you don't have it already using the links in the description down below so you can access the wisdom of thousands of Wall Street analysts on the go. Now let's get right into this morning's exciting stock market news. We are ending the week off with U.S. stock futures in the red. Currently, Dow futures are down 0.41%, S&P 500 futures down 0.59%, and Nasdaq futures down 0.99%. The CEO of Coinbase has warned investors that the SEC may be thinking about cracking down on a process called staking. This could hurt cryptocurrency brokers' business and also Ether and Bitcoin. Bitcoin has fallen 4% in the last 24 hours. While Coinbase fell 14% yesterday and is down a couple percent in the pre-market. Staking refers to a process that both underpins blockchain networks and offers investors a way to earn yield on their crypto holdings. This comes after Kraken agreed to end staking and pay a $30 million fine to the SEC on Thursday. Analysts currently rate the Coinbase stock a hold with an average downside of over 17%. According to the latest regulatory filing, Ford has almost completely exited its stake in Rivian Automotive. Rivian disclosed that Ford now has just above a 1% stake in the company, owning about 10.5 million shares. Previously, the company had had nearly 87 million shares, worth about 9.5% stake in Rivian. In their latest earnings report, Ford's CFO said that the monetization of our Rivian stake is now nearly complete. They have been eliminating their position after taking big losses this past year. The Ford stock is currently rated a hold with a slight upside of about 4.5%. And semiconductor company Micron is cutting salaries for some of its top positions. Their compensation committee has approved cutting the base salary of their CEO by 20%, as well as cutting named executive officers that are executive VPs by 15% and senior VPs by 10%. Bonuses for all of the named executives have been suspended for the year as well. The Micron stock is currently rated a moderate buy amongst analysts with an average upside of 7.5%. Now we have a bunch of notable earnings to look at, so let's move right along to those. Now, not much happening in the after hours today, but the after hours last night were quite eventful, starting off with ride sharing company Lyft. Their stock has plummeted over 30% currently after they reported a big miss on earnings and disappointing first quarter guidance. Looking at their first quarter, they're expecting revenue to be approximately $975 million, which was well below the $1.1 billion that analysts had expected. Meanwhile, they posted a loss per share of $0.76, cents, missing expectations of earnings of $0.13 cents per share. Their revenue did come in $50 million ahead of expectations at $1.2 billion for this quarter. Their stock is currently rated a moderate buy, with mostly holds coming in today and yesterday. We also heard from PayPal. Their stock is down just slightly after beating on both earnings and revenue. Their CEO announced his plan to retire at the end of the year, but the company did provide better than expected guidance for 2023 and had Q4 earnings per share of $1.24, coming in $0.04 cents ahead of expectations and revenue of $7.4 billion, growing nearly 7% year over year and coming in just $10 million ahead of expectations. Analysts currently rate their stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 30%. Alterix is on the rise, currently up about 9% after they beat on both earnings and revenue. They posted Q4 earnings per share of $0.84, cents, beating by $0.33 cents per share, and they saw revenue of $301 million grow 73% year-over-year, beating expectations by over $21 million. Analysts currently rate their stock a moderate buy with an average upside of 24%. Expedia is down slightly after they missed on both earnings and revenue. They said that severe weather impacted the quarter. Their revenue of $2.62 billion missed expectations by $80 million, and Q4 earnings per share of $1.26 were short by $0.44 cents per share. Their stock is currently rated a moderate buy with a slight upside of over 6%. Bloom Energy is on the rise after their better-than-expected earnings. 
They saw revenue growth of 35% year-over-year, coming in at over $462 million, $64 million ahead of expectations, and earnings per share of $0.27 cents beat estimates by $0.16 cents per share. Analysts currently rate their stock a moderate buy with an average upset of 23%, and Cloudflare up over 7% following their earnings beat. They saw revenue growth of nearly 42% year-over-year, coming in at $274 million, and earnings per share of $0.06 cents came in $0.01 cent ahead of expectations. Analysts currently rate their stock a moderate buy, but with plenty of buy ratings coming in today. Now shifting to the pre-market this morning, we did hear from Global Payments. Their results came out largely in line with expectations. They reported earnings per share of $2.42 as expected and revenue of $2.02 billion, which grew 2% year-over-year and came in right on target. Their stock is currently rated a moderate buy with an average upside of 16%. And that was a lot of earnings to get to. Now let's move right along to which stocks are the morning's biggest gainers and losers. Our biggest gainers this morning are led by Alterix following their earnings report. Trading under the ticker AYX, the stock is up 10.5%. They're followed by Cloudflare under NET up 8.65% and Turkcell under TKC up 6.65%. And our biggest losers this morning are led by Lyft following the disappointing guidance and their earnings. Trading under the ticker LYFT, the stock is currently down over 32%. They're followed by Coursera under COUR, down over 20%, and AMC Entertainment Ape Units under APE, down 11%. So that is going to be everything for Friday's pre-market morning update, getting you up to speed with what you need to know before that opening bell. If you made it to the end, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and say good morning in the comments. I always appreciate hearing from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic weekend, and I'll see you back here on Monday.